right, we back. My expert opinion, we're just showing the world. It's so great, I'm losing my fucking voice. It's wonderful. Make sure y'all edit that curse, or we're gonna get demonetized. We don't wanna get demonetized. Hit that like, hit that share. Let, you know, He's hit the it. like, hit the share, let everybody know you in here. Don't cost you no paper unless you the hater. hater. Matt, how you holding? I'm good, man. You lost your voice. Where'd you, where'd you put it? <laughs> hey, man, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Sean Bigger, man of God. <clears throat> we got a special guest in the back. I don't know if she wants to be. You want to be known? You want to? GT! Y'all give it, y'all give it away, man. Right. Big Bond dog, big Bond dog. Royalty, Brooklyn right. royalty in the back. Yes, in the, in the that's room. a fact. Absolutely. That is a fact. If there ever was a princess in Brooklyn, she's in here now. That is a fact. That is a fact. And we're wearing a clothes, so yeah. It's only right. Unfortunately, you can't get we, this. We will shoot. Helpful. We will shoot and kill for you, also. <laughs> So let us know. Okay, all right. I'm from Queens. I'm We got the rest of us. I can't even get a hoodie. I'm not the rest of us got it. I'm from Queens. I'll knock somebody out. That's about as far as it's going. Yo, Splat Murder. This is going to be the last. His name is Gat Murder. This is going to be the last episode you call me Splat Murder, man. They see me in the hood, they be like, yo, Splat, what up? I'm like, look what Mav did. Look what Mav did. Yo, that's terrible. That's horrible. That, that, I no, see, terrible. That's see guys in the hood now? Yo, Splat, no, what up? No, that's good for you. I that's mean, it's growing. It's growing. Because yeah, I answer the phone on Gat, up. sees. <clears throat> Gat that. There you go. Yeah. My boy, every episode, Splat murder. <laughs> now when I see the fans, my expert opinion, fans in the street, Yo, Splat, what up? <laughs> they think my name's Splat. You can't have that. What you got? You can't have that, man. Yo, that is nasty. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That is so nasty. Splat. That is so nasty. Splat. Oh, God. Word. You sound like a failed man. Just switch it up. Yo. Splat is cool. No, you sound like a failed cool. porn star. <laughs> <laughs> he sound like the one porn star who got kicked off the set. Splat, Splat Word. murder. <laughs> Listen, man. Crazy. That ain't none of our business. Right? <laughs> Yo, Champ, what up, man? I'm easy. Uh, glad to be free. Glad to be in this environment mm -hmm. amongst legendary things. Yeah. Mm. Um, and everything is just moving up, man. Yeah. It's over 750,000 subscribers now. Yeah. Uh, we have 760, I think. 760. You running it up. How about that? You running it up. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Hit that subscribe. Yo, a lot of y'all that be watching, y'all y'all don't hit the subscribe button. What's up with that? That's corny. What's up with that? It's corny. It's, it's really like a couple I million people watching. Corny. That's corny. Right. I ain't hit the button. <laughs> So I'm going to no paper. Why y'all keep don't coming back no here paper. and not hitting the button, man? Stop. stop it's doing. like buying fake jewelry. Word. You stop that. Word. It's crazy. Word. It's bootleg music. Show love. It don't cost you nothing. Canal Street is shut down. <laughs> Please. Yeah. And we got a Brooklyn legend in the building. Oh, man. Why you got, why you got to spin your chair like that? Because, <laughs> man, this guy. You don't need to do that either. <laughs> he definitely. Yo. <laughs> Yo. All right. One of my favorite. This is this is my favorite rapper's best friend. One of the guys that I heard I heard his name so so many times on a, on on my favorite rappers record. That when I met him, I felt like I knew him. Mm -hmm. And and he welcomed me. It's big smiles, big hugs, big, great times, good memories. Caesar Leo's in the What's up, Caesar Leo, baby, Nero. Put some love, put some love. Uh, I thank y'all for having me here. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad I came at the right time. Yes. I was a king when the show first started. Yes. Yes. But I'm glad. I think yeah. I came at the right time. Yes, you did. Cause shit is super lit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But so you sitting back like, I don't know, so let me sit back. <laughs> yeah, you see what happened with this shit. You see what happened with this shit. Nah, 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 definitely not. We would just respect, like, you know me, and yeah. I knew you. 
Word. and you just knew like it. Word. Shout out to L Bill. You know what I'm saying? Shout out oh, to L Bill. Get well, you know? get well, bro. The whole mafia people's but I'm happy Word. to be here. I'm Word. in the hot, I'm in the hot seat, right? Yeah, yes, my sir. man Splat Murder might say, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. In the hot seat. I'm going yeah. I'm a chill. Y'all got You going chill today? You good? Yo, before we start this episode, rest in peace to my boy Bristow. No the doubt. Golden man. Child. Yeah, we no love doubt. you. R.I.P. Right. Right. Bristow, right. the Golden Child. Mafia love. R.I.P. Bristow. That's mafia for life, you know what I mean? Uh, y'all already know what it is, man. Yes, Shout out to his family. Y'all already know the Fishers, Bree Voigt, it's all love, uh, baby. Let's go. And I got my boss in here. Y'all already saw they shot the yeah. boss first already. Y'all already <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, Big yeah. boss in here. That's why I got Notorious on too. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. this is what we doing. Cause my big boss is in here. She <coughs> runs shit. And we here. But thank y'all for having me, man. Absolutely, Absolutely man. You know Legendary, man. man. I, I always yeah. try to think of like ways to, to set this off right. Don't shake, don't shake me up already. Come on, what you talking about? Shake you up? Nigga, you was out of town like the monkey out. What you talking about, nigga? What you talking about? <laughs> shake you up. <laughs> I'm different now, man. I'm 45 years old. Man. I understand. So you tell me you ain't doing that. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, I'm 45. Nobody Nobody cares. Cares. <laughs> Nah, means, I, means nothing. I, I was very young in them times, yeah, so we're... I'm a very different person today in this day and age. So yeah. it's a little different. Now, where, you know where, do where do we start? Where do we start? Wherever you want to, whatever you want to start at. The start in Brooklyn. That's weird. From the start. From the start. The man comes to you. He spits around. He ain't even spit around. Oh, go before that. Go to the street shit. Go before that. Go before mm. the music. See, he wanted to. Like, they went yeah. back, they went, they go back further yeah, than music. Yeah, before music. So, they're not music friends. They they're like they're from the family. Yeah. yeah, they're blocking. Yeah. I knew big, uh I knew I knew I knew big since I was like six, seven, eight years old. I never got left back, but uh I started school late. Yeah. So my seventh <laughs> I like year. <laughs> no, I had to correct that. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I didn't never get left back. Yeah. But I started school late a right. year later. So when I was like seven or eight, so I met Big when I was graduating from public school. And I was on, I got hit by a car two days before that. Mm. He was on crutches? Yeah, I was on crutches. Yeah. I'm on crutches going through my graduate, going through Fulton Street, going to PS11. All right. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, know. just sounds like no, no, why you laughing? Because you were in the car accident. I didn't know that was a running theme till just laugh. now. You heard as a child and you're laughing. Yeah. Because he, and I had a gray shiny suit on. Because he, now that's funny. But he associated, <laughs> he associated yeah. the car accident with meeting big. And then years and years later. No, 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 no. No, yeah, you about to jump. I'm just saying. You about to go through the multiverse. That's what made me laugh. That's what made me laugh. You about to go through the multiverse. Yeah. That's why I laugh. But please, but please. That's my first interaction with him. Is you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was on crutches, right? uh -huh. going through Fulton Street. Uh, uh, right. Uh. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like, "Man, what, what, what happened? Like, I got hit by a car two days before that. I ain't break no bones or nothing. I just bruised the leg. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't, but I couldn't walk on it. Right. Mm -hmm. And I just think he was just like, "Damn, little bro, what happened?" You all right? He 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 wasn't making that type of bread or doing that type of shit at that time. But he put yeah. Take this little ten dollars. You good? Go and and I went. My graduation was that, and that was my first introduction to him from mm. as a kid. Right. That's my first memory right. that I never forget. That right. I you know it don't leave my brain. Mm. What you spent the ten dollars on? Everything that was in that motherfucking lunchroom, on that table, <laughs> Skittles, m and M's, uh, the butter crunch, all that, chocolate chips, you know, all that. the butter crunch. The uh, you know, butter see, crunch. Everybody know about the chocolate chips, but no one, nobody know about the butter crunch. The butter crunch is the right. shit. It just used to stick to your fucking right teeth in like between crazy. your teeth. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get some of them with the less pause? Yeah, <laughs> nuts. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm See? Now that got me on point about thinking about that. Yeah, I, right. But you know, it right. wasn't chocolate chip, it was that, but you know, lemon heads. Mm. Now it is. Jelly beans. And, yeah. You know, when you go to them candy stores, when you got a little money in your pocket, you like, yo. $10 is a fortune. Mike and Ike's. Yo, Everything give me two Mike and Ike's. Give me cherry cleanse. What, what about those? Oh, those what? cherry cleanse. What about Alexander cherry the grapes? 
The Alexander, I remember those. Yeah, uh, yeah but that's not uh, now ladies. Uh, no, ladies but now it is very different. Back then yeah, they had pen, they had the penny joints though, the penny stores, yeah, right, the fruities right, yep. where you could five cent you get like five sour patches and shit. Like yep. Yeah, and you could go on there. You might get super bubbles, remember super or, bubbles, all and all bubbles. Yeah, charms, super bubbles, all uh, the shit you used to go to Pathmark. Remember restorations on uh, Bazooka Fulton Joker. Street and Tompkins. Mm -hmm. yeah. We used to go to that supermarket right there. You got to be going to you. you Oh, you put the, the it in the. Right. That was the most best right, shit. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. How, how much older was he? How, what, what age was he? Five years. Five oh. Years. So me and him were separated through five years. So he like saw a little homie coming up the block on crutches and was like, yeah. 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 He was like, yo, you fuck, what happened? I'm like, I got hit by a car. Word? How? <laughs> I, was like, I was in the street playing football, you know? Yeah. I'm in front of my house. So I can stay in front of my house till one in the morning. Mm -hmm. So 12 right. o'clock at night, because I'm right there above my mom's window. She right. could yell out the window. Right. It's before cell phone days. We're not, right. you know, we're not talking no... He's playing football? You know, yeah, I don't got my phone sitting on top you, of the you car. You like a little Barry Sanders ass dude. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was one of the niggas out there like this. Yeah. Remember how uh, Smokey was out there like yeah. dodging that nigga yeah. in the street? Word, yeah. Word, yeah. Word. yeah, I was one of those. Like word. out there, I was very like young, short, always like... Right. And the mix of shit. And, mm -hmm. But I was cool. I was who I was. Uh, mm -hmm. I never, you know, I never went outside my comfort zone. I never tried to be nothing I wasn't. And yeah. I think that's probably what, you know, yeah. what made him like, I, right, I could snatch him up out of, you know. These guys. Yeah, out of all the guys. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He the first one I can get to. Because right. I was willing to listen. And I was cool. And I was a fan of him. Outside of him being who he was before that. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I'm saying? It's just the love. What made you trust him to say, this is somebody I can listen to at that point? Yeah. What you mean, listen, like listen to as in, not, not, not in music, but listen to as in No, like, you said this talking? is somebody I can yeah. listen to. Like a big bro. To. And he's yeah. only five years older than you, but you trusted him at that point. Yeah. Um, his, his love. You know what I mean? Just the way he was. Like, you know, you ain't had to second guess it. And I think I was too young to realize it at that time, but he was just like, I knew it was real. You know, you, you know what you yeah. mean? Like, you know, out of all the guys in my neighborhood, he probably would snatch me up and go, you come to my crib. You gonna come eat with me. You gonna come and, cause he know I'll help him clean up and I'm gonna help him do this and I'm gonna help him do that. And then everybody else would come through after. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. It was a difference. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was, uh, right, it's something about him. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you got to pick out of six people, seven people, Yeah, I'm going to pick him first. Right. You know what I mean? Because I feel like he will, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I felt like he picked me because I was the less fortunate. I didn't have shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Right. I was the one that didn't have nothing. I wasn't the one with the fly outfits. I didn't have the Tommy Hilfinger. Right. I didn't have the polo. Mm -hmm. I didn't have all the knapsacks. I wasn't that. I used to, I used to Nino Brown is one of my best friends. In my whole life, right? And I used to get all his last year outfits. Mm. So when he wore on September 9th, that's when we used to start school back in the 90s, September 9th. Right. And I would get his 1988 outfits instead of his 1999, but I was so close to his family, and I didn't mind taking it. Mm. My moms didn't mind taking it. My family didn't mind taking it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, we all looked out for each other. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't feel no way about that shit. Like, <laughs> all right, all right. That Tommy Hilfiger he had on last year, all right, I'm gonna wear that shit this year. Mm -hmm. Right. It was the love. I didn't think about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and I think that's something he gravitated to that he knew I didn't have no pride in me. I didn't have none of that. He was like, okay, I don't know what it is about this little nigga, but I don't know. To this day, People ask me that, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. You know, I think now Big, I'm at this. I think Big might have seen something in you that he was missing or that he might have had and lost. You know what I'm saying? Because right. sometimes when you're so involved in the street or you're doing what you're doing, like you say, he's five, he's five years older than you, right? Yeah. So yeah. he has a little more experience. So he probably went through things that he's looking at you and like, damn, I lost that innocence. You know what I'm saying? I don't have what C's got. Right. And that's something he wanted to capture again. So having C's by him is like, I'll always have that. Right. Vicariously, you know what I'm right. saying? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, I, I didn't judge nothing. Like, I would just, like, you know, I didn't care. But he knew, for him, 
even at that, at that age, I was only like 13, 14, but he knew like, like before he was a rapper, I was just like, yo, dog, you dope. You. Before a rapper, he was just who he was as yeah. just him. Yeah. So what, what, what was it? What were you seeing? I don't know what I was seeing. I was seeing life. I was just like, I don't know. I was too young to even re realize what I was actually seeing. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. He made me everything that I, I, I am today or who people think I was. And mm -hmm. He made me who I am. I didn't know who I was. I was just like, he a cool motherfucker, man. This nigga, he, he look out for the hood. He, Cause you know what? I saw outside of what he was doing in the streets. Mm. Like outside of him hustling and all I see he was talking about, I knew him really. Like, and what made me know that was the way his relationship was with his mom's. Mm. His mom was his best friend. None of us could come in front of him and his mom's. I swear to God, he had turned into a nerd as soon as his mom pulled up. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pull your pants up. <laughs> hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, my mom's about to come up the block right now, bro. Yo, yo, put that shit out. Right. Mm. But that's the respect he had for us. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the stuff that we don't talk about. About you know what I'm saying? With right. that, like, but think about that was her only child. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way he treated his relationship with his mother is how he treated everybody around him. You know what I'm saying? Champ. And his mother raised him in like a really good, strong Christian background. So, and he went to his mom's private, didn't play private that shit, school. So like, 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 he, you know yeah, he like went to make it. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't yeah, go to yeah, public yeah, school, so his whole upbringing shit. was like totally yeah. different. Right. Mm -hmm. You said, you young, said go, go, young go. boss, but shout out to Mima. That's what we call it. <laughs> shout out to Mima. That's the young boss. But right. yeah, that's how it was though back then. Right. You know what I see? Y'all tell me if I'm. Remember, remember Scarface. Remember when the um, the dude the Scarface originally worked for, he was like, "Why do you want this guy? He's he's a peasant. Like he's got nothing. He's not." He's like, "No, nah, you get a guy like that, he'll be loyal. He'll stay loyal. A guy like that will work his back off. Or like you need a guy like that on your team. Mm. That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. That's what this sounds like to me. Mm. I think he looked at you and saw that. Like, right. he's not out here doing this for fashion. He's a little younger than me." You still, I ain't have fashion, but that's that's my yeah, point. I didn't have it. I, think I didn't have that. Like yo, if I, I ain't if have I, no brownie points. If I show mm. him the mm. world, <laughs> he'll be loyal to me. For well, me. like I was styling on him. Basically molded yeah. him. Like you. Know, that's what you know I'm saying. I think yeah. he. I think he saw you and saw a right hand because of how you were and who you were. And the little yeah. brother, you know. Well, and let me tell you something, man. It's very, it's very hard to talk about that, especially while my boss is in the building. You know what I mean? So it's very hard to talk about that. But it's like I don't know how to question that no more. I'm like, you know, over all these years, mm -hmm. what do I need to tell you about this situation? Mm -hmm. He made it self-explanatory to him, to everybody. That's why you just said your favorite rappers say who name all the time. I think I've been around gangsters. I think I've been around killers. He talk about this old 13-year-old 13 13 nigga all the time. Yeah. And to this day, I... Answer this. I, I question that same shit. Nigga, why the fuck that nigga was talking about me like that? <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Because I was young at that time, so I didn't know. Mm -hmm. What I did know, my energy was all about love and loyalty, my nigga. I've been standing on that to this day. Mm -hmm. Nobody could question me about nothing. Even people that backspin for my, for my crew, it's still my people to this day. Because they had to double back and go, I see what you was thinking about. Because I learned. Right. I was the I was the corny young nigga that sat down and listened, and sat in the cut, watched everything. I wasn't trying to, nah, Papa, that's this, this your time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nah, Kim, this your time. Nah, Faith, this your time. I don't mind playing my part, right. cause my part is our part. Same right. way we all sitting in these chairs right now, right? Everybody mm -hmm. play a part in this shit. Mm. Hoffa started it, he created it, but it's circling around. It's a 360. The clock go 3, 12, 3, 6, 9, and it go around, right? Mm -hmm. We all circle around. Right. And I knew how to PYP, play my position. 
And that's all I did. And I feel like I'm getting my dues now. Hmm. And I don't care when I get it. As long as I get it. And I'm not fishing for that. It's not what I'm fishing for. As long as I get to sit here, and I get to see my boss sit here in front of me, and get to chill, that's my cosign. That's the biggest shit for me than any record sale, than any of the shit that matters to anybody. Because right. this rap shit or this industry shit could end in, in a tomorrow. I mean, can every, all these rappers go back to their hoods? Can all these people go back to where they from? Mm. I can. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you was out there before rap, which is where we left off at. Right. Ah, you were big. Wow. You were big. So him put you on, so to speak. So it started with the block, right? Yeah. What started from there. What's going on? I mean, I know you probably did countless interviews on this, but for me, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I'm getting it from. I mean, the block was very just. Uh, I mean, the way we come up from, it's right. like regular, bro. Like, you know, you're seeing people fight. See people get stabbed, or you hear some shots, like, you know what to do. Duck! Right. Get, right. get down! <laughs> then right. get out of here! Right. Like, it's a very regular thing to me. It's not nothing that's out the ordinary to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think the difference today is that you, we get to see what these young kids and the new generation get to go through because everything is. So, so, yeah. so yeah, everything's virtual. Yeah, but we've been going through that shit like our whole lives. But yeah. we had a private life back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everything was excluded. It was all between us. And nobody knew about nothing. I just felt like that was just like regular stuff. I knew the rules. My sister told me, you hear shots, nigga, run your ass around the corner. Yeah. Come bring your ass in the house. Yeah. You see people getting it on on your block. You go, you, you go in the house or, you know. Stay away like, from that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how I was raised. I'm not right. afraid to say that. I wasn't outside, like out there, like I was banging at three, at five. All these, the new generation be like, they was banging at seven. Yo, nigga, I was outside. No, you wasn't. Yeah. If you was you outside. You sat in that chair and said they was outside from four years Shmurda. old. I'd be smurder. Yeah, right. I think he said two he years said old. Was outside yeah, from four years old. He said two. It could be possible. I'm not saying. <laughs> but listen, listen. Shout out to my little brother, Bobby Smurder. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it can't be because it's, yeah. it is like that in certain yeah. cities. But I'm telling you how I was raised. Where I was from in the 90s, 45 years old. Mm-hmm. All right. So in my 90s, in 95 and 94, I was 14, 15. Mm-hmm. I can't compare his 14 to 15 to mine. Right. If he's right. not my age. Right. right. But he has the right to say how he feel about his era. Because mm-hmm. it was like that probably in his era in time. I don't know that. Mm-hmm. Cause at that time I was like, nigga, I ain't with that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, like, right. you know, I was already like, all right, nah, but I'll go hang out with my youngest and you know, cause I want to get around them to have this type of conversation with them and talk to them because I feel like that's what the young generation do lack. Right. They don't have OGs, they don't have older people around them to tell yeah. them. I had that. I had a I had a big, I had a D Rock, I had a Money L, I had a C Gutter. Mm. I had wild people. And then outside of that, just my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had people that, like, your little brother, you bugging mm. before the internet. Mm-hmm. But now, niggas will tell you you bugging on the, on the internet before they tell you you bugging in private. Private, yeah. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, nah, you want to go up there, like, I've been trying to talk to my nigga on the internet. Like, no, bro. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that shit alone. Call him. Whole audience, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, is, that, is that what the crew life was like? Like, you just, you just mentioned other members of Junior Mafia. Was that, like, as you're becoming this guy, yeah, with, with big and the, and the and the boys. Yeah, and now yeah, you're yeah. on the block. Now you're outside. Yeah, is that where you learned all, like these morals yeah. and the rules? Hell and... yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, all my friends like we didn't have nothing to impress nobody for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it wasn't no internet. It wasn't no Instagram. It wasn't no Twitter. It mm-hmm. Wasn't none of that. That's a fact. We weren't out there fighting for no rights or fighting for no respect. Right. It was right. strictly on the strength of where you from and your surroundings. And, and that's what it was. And that's how we all got stamped for who we were. This nigga sees no one tell us how much crap they was selling. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find out. You won't tell me, man. You won't tell me. Man. What? what you, I, I wasn't. Sh- Listen, I was. I, they told you seeds to go in the crib. You probably that. I didn't have to house. do that. Let me right. tell you something, dog. And that's why, that's why hmm. Big is so important because 
he tried to he tried to snatch us up from that. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Mm. How many that rappers you tough. know that did that? How many rappers you know that did what he did? Mm. On all levels, writing raps for them, you know, helping you out, get your family right. Like, nah, B.I., that's what, that's what he was. So I, how you expect me to say something that's not me? Yeah. It's not me, bro. Right. I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm sorry. If that's what you're expecting. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, I'm not going to do that. Right. My man sacrificed so much for me. He, he, he stayed in the studio for four hours to write a rhyme for me. Mm. What record was that? Play his Play his anthem. Anthem. Play his I wasn't a rapper. He knew how to use me once he see. He taught me how to work and he knew I wanted to do that type of work. How old was you when you did that record? 15. Jeez. That's crazy. That's Say what? Who smoked more blunts than a little, a little bit? bit? What are you, an idiot? idiot? Listen Yo, to the lyrics. All crazy. I had to do was go in the room and memorize it. That's but crazy. you rapped it. Listen to me, nigga. But you listen, listen, man. listen to it. Did you hear me, nigga? That's crazy. Are we? For, I thought he was a grown ass man, bro. When I listen heard that it. shit, listen to me. I'm 15. I, I've heard other niggas rap. Other niggas rap. Said we know somebody else wrote that. Go on YouTube. Hearing, hearing Lil C. The rappers is on there. Biggie Her, saying. But hearing Lil C's, I never thought that you wasn't a rapper. You dig what I'm saying? Word. You do that shit effortlessly, bro. Is this nigga sound like you read? You know what I mean? Facts. Like, Facts. even, 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 you know, shout out to Love, but even Puff, to a certain extent, when he, when he the delivery all the wasn't time. always there. He ain't deliver all the time. And right. I'm not afraid you know to say that to him. That's my brother, too. But from the rip, he first time I heard Lil C's, yeah. I was like, yes, he ain't he deliver rap. all the time, but he was Puff. Right. His power yeah. make him deliver. It's different, yeah. But you know he and you for the but, first time, But he made bro. me feel comfortable about doing that. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I ain't look at him no way. Right. The way he'll take raps, I took it. Right. But I'm taking the, I'm taking shit from the best rapper ever. Didn't is that. So you know, <laughs> right. imagine that me sitting in the room 15 years that. old and the biggest rapper, the best rapper in the world is writing my rhyme for me right there. Too and much. I can go get high, I can go do, I can go fuck a bitch, I can go do shit. And the biggest rapper is sitting up there taking out his time out, his life, his situation to write me some raps to benefit me. That's fine. Mm. What about crush on you? What about crush on you? You wrote that too? Chills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, right, we're talking about <laughs> something else. You're not going to... You my... But what I'm saying, understand what I'm saying, though. Like, you know, like, I wasn't afraid of, of my honesty. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, I'm a kid, bro. I didn't know that. Right. You know, but performing with him for two years before we ever came out with the album as a group, he taught me how to, you know, hold him down and, and hype man. And mm -hmm. So I was, so he, he was actually just like, uh, he was grooming you. He was, you. Yeah, he was, he had a plan for you already. He was grooming me going, yeah. all right, he know it already. He know how to rock. Were you there to see him? When, were you there when he first started going on the road with Puff and, and Puff was being this hype man? Yeah, right. I did that nigga, I did one of his first shows. Mm. We did shows when Party and Bullshit and Dreams of Fucking yeah. R&B right. Bitch and yeah. Party and Bullshit was out, like, you know, when he was on Don't Curse for Heavy D, like, mm, you know, man. Let's Get It On with Tupac and Grand Pooba, like, y'all yeah. mm. probably don't even know about records he was like on that. Let's, he was on Don't Curse with Heavy D? I don't remember. But that. he was on Let's Get It On bunch with him niggas. and Tupac. He was yeah. on a bunch of niggas. A bunch of niggas, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad on that. No, but I got it, you. I got you. He was doing so much back then, but he was already building up that hype for him. Like, you know what I mean? Like And you were there for that process. Yeah. We he had a bunch of he had a bunch of young kids around him, bro, outside of like, you know, the he was sea a young gutters. Kid, though. He was he was We a were kid. all young. That's my right. He was young. Yeah, I'm 45 years old today. So I look at Big like he was a kid. He was 50. He died at 20. You know what I'm saying? He'd have been yeah. 50. He's like in the, he's an adult. He was a kid, yeah. but at 20? Yeah. How, how adult are you really at 20? Like barely an adult. All right, but how adult? No, was but big, coming from where we come from. Yeah. Exactly. Back 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 back. 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 Let me ask you something. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. But how adult was Big? Writing them rhymes at 20 and 21. Everyday struggle. But that. Suicidal thoughts and. That's what he was makes, a kid writing those. That's what makes it more incredible to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking nothing away. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. like him, Nas. The idea that you writing grown man life that grown niggas is listening to. You ain't writing no corny to. shit. You ain't up there like we on the block. We shoot ops and 
No, Yo, you're telling about <laughs> everything, telling politics and life and about how your man just got caught up. You're not saying his name, but you're rapping about somebody that know what you're rapping about. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Everyday Struggle was like a movie. That's my favorite song. Yeah. Every my song Big, Big made was ever. like a fucking movie, Everyday bro. Struggle? Hell yeah. Because I, I, one day I asked him, I was like, nigga, what made you think about that? What? What you talking about? Mm -hmm. That nigga made me read the dictionary. <laughs> no, I'm lying to y'all because I had to learn some shit he was saying. I was like, Yo, "What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what you're saying. Mm. I don't know that, but I want you don't want to say that to him. I don't want to say it, ask him, Yo, bro, what you talking about? Yeah, right. So you want to go back and read it and go, damn, my nigga, that was hard. You talking about that? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I was a fan outside of him being my brother. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't even like my brother. Let me tell you something. It was like my father. He was my uncle. <laughs> he, was, he was everything on that because I could do everything with him. I could smoke with him. I could fuck some chicks with him. And then he'd also protect me like he was my father too though. Like when shit going down in clubs and I was at Freak Nick at 14 years old. Yeah, I'm at Freak Nick. Nigga. Impact in Miami and he's holding, he's like, yo, hold on to my shirt. And all I had to do was hold on to the nigga's shirt. Well, I'm smoking still at that time. Pass that shit. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, man. Right. But God will strike me dead if I'm lying. Right. Mm -hmm. But I've been there that long. But I, you know, I go so hard for him like that because I want people to know who he was. Because outside of him being a rapper, nah, man, he was just a, he was that guy. Right. He was just a person, my nigga. He stood up for, not just his borough. He stood up for Brooklyn, niggas know that. But yeah. I'm talking about niggas, the city. He wanted to represent that, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But he was a kid, he was, 20, he was 24, and he died, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm 45 years old right now, so I, I lived 21 years more than he did. Mm. That's rough. So I look at it a little different, and I'm like, damn, man, I wish he was here this, or what would he be if he was here now? And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but his mind state, and, he was the boss, man. He he knew what he wanted to do. He knew how he wanted to orchestrate it. He was organized. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's different. And that's the shit that still bothered me to this day. So you was there for the studio sessions and all that. Yeah. In the beginning. And then him signing for Puff. Did he, did he confide in you? you know, those things like, yo, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I knew everything that was going on. I was hands on on everything. That's why I still be tripping about that shit to this day. Like, you feel comfortable with like, but he, he was schooling me. I was, you know, I don't like talking about myself like that, but I've been very advanced out here. I was born that night, but not last night. I've been mm -hmm. out here for a long time, my nigga, I'm active. And that's why I'm still here. God bless God, you know, no matter how I go, you know what I mean? But I don't know what he saw in me, but I, I know he saw love, I know he saw respect, I know he saw loyalty, I know he saw something in me, bro. You know what? I'm gonna make sure this little nigga good, because he's gonna make sure I'm good. Would you hear for the discrepancies between him? Like, did you ever see some of the deals with he wasn't nah, super nah. happy about? I mean, the even if I was there, I wouldn't say nothing. That was his job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't get in, nothing I'm not involved in, I don't get in touch with that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, it's not my job to tell that man how to run his business. I'm no, fine. not like that, but who no, knows but like, what your level of involvement would be if he right. trusts you. Like he... My job is if he on, I'm on. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? If you in that chair and he's the culprit, I'm in that chair. And all my job is to do is just sit there and be cool or be cool. I'm not going to chase myself for no other excitement. Mm -hmm. I'm going to respect my brother position. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. whatever position he want to put me in, I'm going to stay on that. That's it. There's nothing else. We ain't had to discuss nothing. And I think that's why he did deal with me like that. Because he knew, not controlling me like I was a fucking, you know, yeah. slut or some but shit he, like that. But he knew, knew <laughs> my nigga understand that. My little, and he's young, but he understand that early. So I got him. Mm -hmm. And that's why. I sit back and I PYP. I play my position. I ain't say nothing. I ain't do nothing. I chill. Whenever you need me, Papa, I'm here. 
pause. Because that could sound like a pause, pause. right? Yeah. <laughs> see, so no, 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 see, because y'all been pausing a lot. <laughs> but we used to all call my nigga see, now, pa- now you pause paranoid. Look at you, man. <laughs> see, now you want to do that. Now you pause panic. <laughs> but you, did you, you feel like Big knew his value from the very beginning? Or once he started rapping, you seen the attention he was getting, the money he was getting, what, what was the, the deals. First? Do you feel like he he knew his value then, or at the very beginning? He knew it. He knew he was dope. He knew that. But I don't think what he was knew the, he was going to be as big as he was going to be. What was the I'm first thinking, rhyme you heard? Uh, this first rhyme he did. This club called. Uh, damn. See how they went out. You all know that. <laughs> it was a spot we call uh we had this little theater spot we used to like everybody used to do clubs at. It was on like on Lafayette and Cotton Avenue. Mm-hmm. And uh he did this one rhyme there. And it was like a regular street club. And then the only line I remember he said was Battle Me from where? Attica? And the whole crowd went crazy. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> this is like a, like one of our little hood spots. Yeah. And shit. And I think that's when everybody started to recognize him as being a rapper. None of us knew Big one to rap. None of us knew Big rap since he was 14. I didn't know that. I'll be honest to tell you that. I didn't no know one. he... I, you know, you see he was doing the, like, the, the videos, like he was like on Video Music Box. Like, yeah. I didn't know that. That's before I, I probably even... I probably just started knowing Big around that time. Right. But he was like with the flat top. He's like, yo, Big right. Music Box, what's up? He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that was that something that was already in his origin. He wanted to be a musician, and that's before me. So I can't mm-hmm. count for that. I can't right. say nothing yeah. about that. I can't co-sign that. Like that was just something that was before me. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, but that was already that was something that was in his origins already. That was just something he was just birthed with. But once you saw it, was it like, oh shit? I didn't see that back in them times. So when I, when I see it now, it's like. Damn, like, oh shit. Like, Retrospect. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see that then. I didn't see that when we was popping and, you know, think about when we had social media, man. Like, mm. you know what I mean? We ain't have social media all these years. Like, right. no, bro, like, no. So Nobody. that shit came out years later. After Big Pass, I'm like, what? He was doing a, like a fake video music box, like acting like he was on Channel 31, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the video music box, what's mm-hmm. up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But who he sounded like? Tell me. Tell me. Kane. And I'm gonna tell you so. If you ever look through his videos, that bandana he wore had BDK on it. it Big Daddy Kane. Wow. 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 That's I crazy. Never saw, I never saw that. Never yeah. knew that. I never saw that. Yeah, but that was his crazy. inspiration. That was like his. You no, know, he looked up to that person. Like, yeah. Big mm. Daddy Kane. Mm. So now when you hear him, think about how he rhymed. His metaphors. Oh cadence, no, we said that. The, dre- the way you dress. Mm-hmm. I watch I watch this shit, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I asked Big Daddy Kane if he ever did a record with um Big. He said he never did a record with him. No, he didn't. We did that freestyle together though at Madison Square. At Madison Square Garden. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a damn shame. Who was that That's question? A legendary was ass fucking freestyle, That's a dope freestyle question. bro. Yeah. Where yeah, where C's was when um when that that uh freestyle, I don't even know what you call it. The freestyle the battle, in front of the battle store. video, yeah, the, in front of the he store. was like rapping in front of the store. Yeah, like the blue button down. Mm. Nah, that wasn't me. Yeah, he wasn't there. I wasn't there. Yo, there's a little dude that looked like me and that shit. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's up, dude? What's I don't lie, man. Let me tell you something. You know how many times people be sending me messages on my Instagram, like, yeah, that was you right there? I'm like, nah, that wasn't me. Uh, so you, mm. you, the reason why we keep doubling back is because you're one of the few people with the greatest rapper alive, with one of the greatest, one of the goats, and you were there from the point goat. eight, respectfully. Right. You were my there, opinion. No, right. respectfully. I'm not, I'm not going to dispute it. Mine's too. Respect. Mine's too. <laughs> Arguably, top. Nobody did it like my nigga. Top three. Let's have that life. argument right now before you go into that question. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Don't let's even do that. that. Let's, let's do, let's do that right now. You don't, no, you don't want we, it. Let's go. We, we did that. I do want it. I do I, want no, it. No, I'm going to tell you, you why. Because he, he's about to say it. Because we had Clark Kent in here. Yeah. Clark Kent said I heard Clark, and I know Clark. That's my brother. That's my big brother. Right. I love Clark Kent. You know I love him. 
But I know his mind state. He's a producer. He's a DJ. He do that. But I have my opinion. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm, you go now. Me go where? Yeah, who was where am I going? Because well, you I'm, said Clark, Clark you always said, say J, no, right? He, he, want, he, want, he, wants me to, he wants me to have the debate with you about who's better than big. I don't feel there is a better than big. I think there is a just as good. I don't think it's, I don't, I didn't really think it was, I don't really put big on a, like big is on a Mount Rushmore. And at, at that point, you stop making compare. One, two, I'm a journalist. My goal is to be objective. It's not about who my favorite is. It's about reading the stats and, you know what I'm saying? Who checks not out personal. the box. It's not, yeah, it's it's not personal. Your personal. My shit. personal favorite versus who might be the best is two different discussions or at all times. Right. Who's your best? My favorite. Who's your best? Favorite. It's the same word. It's not. It's not. Because the best MC might not be my favorite. My, who's but, your, but, but. Who's your best, man? My favorite MC is one of the best, in my opinion, is Redman. Redman is one of my favorites. Nas is one I of my favorites. I love Redman. Um, Fat. Kendrick Shout to Uncle is Red. one of my favorites. Yeah, Kendrick Ooh. is one of my favorites. Now, when we start talking about checking off all the boxes, Red don't check off all the same boxes as, as Biggie. Buster's one of my favorites. He checks off Why a lot Why are you comparing him first to Biggie? Say it again? Because I heard no, you say Nas was your... your because your, so don't compare... All right, so put that all in the same box, in the same circle, and mm. you got to put everything in the same box. So, all right, he's not that same in that, but let's... Because I... I be watching the show, my nigga. <laughs> I'm watching the show. I'm going to I'm not, listen, I'm my not, nigga. Because I've been around for a long time. So my boy is very fucking valuable out here. Because right. okay. I've been around every last one of these niggas out here. Right. And I don't mind, I don't mind seeing what I say today and see them niggas tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And shaking their hand. Cause they know where I stand. Mm -hmm. right. I'm a lawyer, you nigga. They know you, where the fuck I stand. You forget we've had this conversation already. I know. And and I know you totally sober. <laughs> yeah, <completely>. <laughs> <laughs> I know you totally so. We had this so combo, bro. Your I, did, yeah, I, did, of course. I did the cover story for the source when the when the Notorious movie came yeah. out. I had to interview you then. I interviewed all of Biggie's family. That's the closest I've ever gotten to interviewing him. Mm -hmm. I missed my opportunity to interview Big. Out of the greats, I never got to interview Jay, but I spoke to him. I did a cover story with Nas. I, I, I did an interview with LL. I never got to Big. I never got to Pun. They were both rest in peace before I could get to them. The Notorious movie was like, it was like, oh shit. Like, you know what I mean? I got, that was as close as I could get to interviewing the man himself. I talked to you. I talked to, to the whole, basically the whole family. I had, yeah, to, I had yeah, to run down yeah, the whole sure. family to, yeah. to get that, to get that together. And we had this same discussion. You got at me about who my favorite was and who's the best <laughs> MC and all that good so this shit. This is something that he does. Okay. Constantly. Whenever any other MC comes up, he wants to know how you feel about that guy compared to his guy. I'm not hating, though. I'm no, not it's against never nothing. Never that. yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I'm a fair guy. You it's already know that. No, no, yeah. it's, it's never that. We, we, I'm we, a hip-hop fan. Discussion though. went, we, we was talking about Mob Deep by the time the conversation was over. Fact. Let's keep going down this timeline. So the making of Ready to Die, you in the studio, you witnessing all this shit. Huh? You remember anything, like any stories about being in the studio when I was being done? What type of stuff? I mean, love. It was a celebration, though. That nigga taking my whole my whole camp out the hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like All of y'all be in the studio. We didn't know what was going on, though. We don't know what was happening. We just enjoying it and that's making niggas want to ride more. Yeah, want to do more like nah. It was just uh, you know, we was congratulating our man on like really, like putting that like like really putting that not even putting the city on the map. I think it's putting my neighborhood on the map. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He spoke about St. James a lot. He spoke about like he spoke about the shit where he was from. Right. No, nah, nah. We was just enjoying that shit. Just embrace. We didn't think like that. We. We ain't no fucking bougie ass people. We didn't think like that, dog. Right. We didn't think we was above nobody else. Like, B.I. wasn't that. That right. nigga was a nigga. Y'all ain't gonna let anybody in here in this chair in the club. I'm not coming in. Like, that's how he was. Right. He could be the headline of that shit tonight. He ain't. Well, nah. when he was in the studio, what was what was his work ethic like? Music. He was an architect, dog. He really was about that. He was a musician. Think about it. Why are we talking about him to this day? 
Because mm. he don't ask me nothing. You on, he's one of the best rappers of all time, bro. Like on some real shit. Right. Do I have to tell you that? No, I want to hear. I want to hear. What I'm not like saying to you like that, man. But you know what I'm saying. To you. Yeah. But do you do you have to understand that? Why that's your favorite rapper? Because he was great at everything. Because he was great at what? Everything. What's everything? Story How many rappers you know could say they was good at everything? Storytelling, flow, punchlines, cadence, uh, and cadence, yeah, delivery, delivery yeah. everything, everything ideas. Was up. Yeah, he, everything was up. How many rappers you know do that to this day? And you, everybody make the list right now. Every rapper that do us that to this day. Oh, he started this shit again. Yeah. Yeah. He started this shit again. We right back See, trying to find out what he was like recording, man. <laughs> we right what back was, what was the first record that he recorded from Ready to Die? We can't get away. Ready to die? I don't know that. I mean, he was he was like doing like records like Dreams of Fucking R&B, bitch. He was doing Party and Bullshit. He mm. was doing Don't Curse with Heavy D. He was doing Real Love with Mary J. He was doing Dolly My Baby with Super Cat. Mm. He was on Wild wow, Rap. Like, right, come right, on, right, bro. Right, right. Like, mm -hmm. right. no, nigga. Like, come on, dog. Don't ask me. Like, how many of these new rappers have to get a? You know, they go on Instagram and shoot out and they beat people up. They they cheat code. You're not rapping. Mm. You're not rapping, bro. You using the internet. Ah, pull up, pull up. That's why y'all getting killed every day. Mm. Mm -hmm. What? Where's the sport about rapping? I see you were there for the for the beef. Though. Where's the sport about rapping? What? Where's the sport about rapping? Let's rap, bro. I don't have no beef with you. I don't have no issues with you. I don't have none of this and that with you. But can we rap? Mm. The industry don't rap today. But Big had beef. What? Big had big. Big had beef, didn't he? Oh my god. Let me put my shit in. Put the drink down. Yeah. He had beef with who? I'm asking you. And I'm asking you who he we, had beef we, with. We, we, okay. Whoever Big Rev responded to, who he had beef with? Well, he, be, he responded to Pop. How? Tell me. I want to hear how people talk. Because, you know what? Everybody always take well, my word for it. So, who he beef with? You um, tell me. All right. So, Matt, it's not so got nothing to do with you. Yo, yo, chill, nah, chill, nah, chill. Nah, so, nah, we chill. all together. We all together. Yeah. <laughs> we all together. Yeah. We all together. Yeah. We all together. Yeah. Um, yeah. When a couple members of Boot Camp Clip said something negative to say. Dude, he literally said what I was going to say. What? Whoa, Boot Camp. Was you, there, was you there for that? About what? Strain Wonder of Strain OGC Wonder. getting pistol whipped. Uh, I went. Uh, yo, wasn't that it? Whoa, whoa. He didn't get, he, no, that's not no, what happened? No, whoa. no, no. Okay, not, great. Clear no, it up. No, 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 no great. I'm clear not up. clearing up. No, we're not just going to talk about that. No. Yeah. Boo can't click is my fan. Not nah, they family. They, no, they yeah. talk about it. <laughs> yeah. But they, they about it. All right, so if they talked about it, what are you asking me about? He said he was in the... You were on the other side of it. When y'all heard stuff like that, was it like, yo, they from the town. Like, why they, why they doing that? That's how I felt. That's how we all felt. Like, right. yo, why y'all dissing us? Like, nigga, we not coming at y'all. Like, what? But whatever happened from that, it happened. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. Come here. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. it's, no, it's, 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 it's no thing to... I'm not trying to rehash that shit. I'm not trying to rewind that shit or bring it back. Yeah, no. They know. We know. And right. it's all about respect and love. And, and I'm going to keep it on that note for me. See, but okay. that's, that's why I wasn't asking you to mention any names. I just said Big had beef. They were, at the time, he was on top. When that wasn't no top, beef, though. Everybody takes shots at you. Yeah, but that wasn't no beef. That wasn't no beef. All right. Let me tell you something, right? I'm not going to address that on no shit, right? I'm just going to tell you this. That whole shit happened because one record put that situation into perspective, right? You could be as good as the, the best, best of them, them but top as bad as Top them. dog. Boot Camp Clip didn't create that record, right? No, that was no, a Jamaican no. record, right? No, right. No, 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 Big didn't that. create that record, right? 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 right. Mm -hmm. right. So just at the spur of the moment, we just, you know, it just happened to where that same record came out at the same time. And they chose to 
and take it there. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. That's it. All right. But those were my guys. Those were my brothers. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Tech. Shout out to Steel. No, shout right. out to OG. And that's it. I'm not going to talk on that. Shout out to Tech. Shout out to Shout out to Buckshot. You know, this all shout Brooklyn out to Rock. family. This all New York family. This mm -hmm. all hip hop. But we didn't start that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we no. all took that record from a Jamaican artist, right? Right. Because mm -hmm. if, if everybody did their yeah. homework, that record was already out before that's a fact, right? yeah. me and them mm -hmm. took Set the record, me. right? So. Right. I didn't jack the record from you, and I didn't jack the record from you. It could have been great minds think alike. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel. Yeah, you know what? When I think of a record, and I, I, be, I, be, I listen to a bunch of old shit all day, and I, that's all I do. They know that. Mm -hmm. And I sit there and listen to old records all day. And then, you know what? Someday I might listen to a record, and somebody must might like come out with that record the next day. And I'm like, damn. I don't feel no way about it. It's going to be think I'm on the right track. Right. I don't think no way of it. And then niggas stole it or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. but niggas went at us like we took their record. And that's not what we did. Like, oh, is that way? Okay. Yeah. It was okay. the same record. You could be yes. It was the same right, right, record. Right, 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 right. But that you. record was already produced and born before. Mm -hmm. right. And they responded with the video. And yeah, it was, they, it was kicking us off. It was like yeah. dissing us. And they had, you know, on the strip of my, my brother Tech. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Outside of all the, the you know, boot camp click and all that, Tech is my man. It's yeah. my brother. Still yeah. is my brother. Buckshot. All of them. But Tech was my guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tech, and Tech's out of all the respect, we... Tech's out every day. Yeah, we just like, all right, yo, y'all tripping. I think y'all over like, nah, it wasn't that. But y'all saw what they did. did. Did Big do that? Did Big have a video dissing them and no, no. like did we did we make a diss record? Right. Right. That wasn't our style. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. We'll rather see you up close and personal. That's what we do. Right. We ain't gonna make no fucking uh, attachments, no fucking you know. Right. We don't do that. That's how I grew up. Keep right. it quiet. That's uh, and we cool. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's how we do things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, so I know it was like, That's it. it was difficult when you had somebody that y'all was close to, somebody that y'all held down, yelling your names, saying that you was responsible for something. Who? Tupac. About me? Yeah. Oh, about y'all. Yeah, in general. Right. Twice in general. What was that? I mean, I know, tell me your earliest memories of being around Pac, and then after... You know, the, the, the nice shit happened. And what happened after that? Time out. Nah, I really got to use the bathroom. Okay, you ain't got a time out. Right. Yeah, right. man. Yo, you, that, that's in the contract. You violating the contract, <laughs> bro. I got to go, bro. Yo, so, yeah. what was that like? What? Well, uh, what the shit happened with uh, at, at Quark? Not, not even before. I hate Quark, telling that before story. Before that. Before that. You hate telling that story. I hate telling just about that whole situation. Why? Because not what people think, what it is. What, you know what I'm saying? What, what people think it is and what was it? That's what you what you think it is. Because you're asking me. So what you think it is? Um, I don't, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. It wasn't nothing what people thought it was, what it was. Like, we was kids, bro. We growing up and things happened. But I don't know what you're asking me. You know what I mean? You got to be... When somebody asks you something like, yo, so what happened that day? I'm like, what you want me to tell you? Right, but what's right. your recollection? What's your recollection? Because uh, in the like, movie, they got you going, hey, yo, fuck, do the way. That's what happened, though. Right. But you could go on YouTube. I, I don't never tell that story no different. Like, so I don't want to get up here and say the same story I've been saying for it's 20, 30 opinion. years. It's my expert opinion, my nigga. <laughs> like, I'm tired it's of telling my, that story. It's my what do you opinion. want to hear from me? Trust me, my nigga. There's people watching and never saw you tell the story before. I, I did tell the same story. I never, never heard it. I never heard it. I'm going to give you that. Story, please. What story? What you want to know? Are you what? asking that question right. direct by direct? What and was I'm the relationship you. like with Pop before that night? It was all love, even to, even to after that. Mm -hmm. But I, it's certain things you just can't tell. But it was a regular studio session. 
I'm tired of telling the story, but I'm gonna tell it once again. That was our first Junior Mafia session. First. First Junior Mafia session. We just got signed. We were calling players anthem, Clark Kent, and no, we not thinking about nobody else. You think my first time getting signed a record deal, I'm thinking the biggest thing about robbing his best friend, one of his coolest friends in the world. When he got a record deal, he done got advance money. He done, come on, dog. What, what are we talking about? Right. What the fuck are we talking about? Like, come on, dog. Right. That's why I don't like talking about it, because I get very personal. And I'm not, we're not about to do that. But I, but I feel like I feel like the the energy that you that you no, put no. out is from the people that have been speculating about it. What's the speculating saying, about? You what? Know what I'm saying when you say, "All right," you just now you was like, um, "Big ain't thinking about robbing nobody." Da, da, da. But that's coming from people who who were saying that they trying to rob them. So. And who was those people? I don't know. And why would we give a fuck? <laughs> why do you give a fuck? I don't. That's why I'm trying to. Because I, I, I never said anything I don't, about Robert. Yo, you no, said no. it. Nigga is stupid. I'm telling you about something that they say. Right. People said that. What was what? It's not my job to Yeah, so what was them. it? Tell me what it was. It wasn't nothing. What you want, what you want me to tell you? It's our first Junior Mafia session. Right. Right? Clark Kent. And all of us in there. See how you trying to get a story out of me? You going, yo, so what happened? Uh, you're not going to feed me into that shit. I'm not feeding yeah. you into nothing. No, you are. I'm asking you, you a question. This is what you're trying to do to me right now. Because you're going, yo, so what happened? I'm telling you, nigga. As a, come on, dog. Ain't nothing happened. We recorded our first session. And I saw that nigga on my terrace. In my own session. Mm -hmm. With my own boss. Mm -hmm. B.I. Right? Mm -hmm. And B.I. was in there writing rounds for me and my crew, right? And I see a nigga he knew. And I yell out the window, yo, bro, what's up? And you been hanging out with us all day. What's up, my nigga? I'm about to come downstairs and get you. You know when I come downstairs? Mm -hmm. He in some mix that I don't have nothing to do with. Or well, whatever happened down there happened. I don't know what happened. Right. I, I feel like I did my part. I went downstairs and I saw some shit. Oh shit, yo, yo, I'm going, yo, B.I., yo, bro, shit going down downstairs. He's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, y'all little niggas stay up here and I'm going downstairs. Now, when we see him come back up, we started riding for him. We go downstairs. And and that's when we found out what happened. I don't know, I don't know how to keep explaining this story. I'm tired of explaining it. But I don't owe nobody any shit. Right. You, him, 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 and the world. Right. What the fuck do I keep telling y'all this shit for, my nigga? Yeah. Uh, I guess. If I was foul, I should have been dead by this day. Wow. If I was that type of nigga, or, or right. come on, stop talk. I don't want. I don't like talking about that. Right. A lot of these niggas that want to hear about it ain't about that. Right. How about that? Right. Why these niggas out there ain't really about that life? These little, like, come on, dog. Yeah. So what are you asking me? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. You go. I, I see where this is going. I think. Here's, here's why we're asking the question. No one is inferring any kind of guilt or thinking that you got anything to explain. I'm not saying that. Right, now, just, let, just let me get to the I'm end of the saying that. The only reason we're asking is because you were there with a first-hand POV at some legendary sounding shit and somebody who's in the moment we can only get that from you not yeah, not what, why it happened who did it no names but mentioned. what do i give about giving you that information not not a thing not right. it's, it's, so why it's do your, it, so it's why is it so important because it's your story it's a part of your story right. yeah. and my story is your story you're gonna bust me down with your check of your story i don't have nobody's paying me for my story all right so so what do it matter to me is what i'm saying to you understand no, what no, i'm saying i, to I get you. it i it's get just, it it's that's why I like him when he be up here, because sometimes you have to <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's why he probably was sitting here sitting quiet right now, because I'm that, bro. I, I want to ask you why you want to know that if it's not beneficial to you. Then why you want to know it? Then why you want to spread it to the world? Okay. Because you know what? Everybody going to have their opinions. They're going to have their they, they they, they situations about it. No matter how many times I tell it, how I tell it, mm -hmm. am I going to satisfy people? 
I want to make people love me. I want to make people hate me. What do I get to benefit from that? And you, let me ask you that. What do I get benefited from that? If there was, if there's any, if there's any, you power, tell me. I, I how tell, do I get to live? I tell that you, you get, to, you get to set the story straight for all the people. But I've been setting the story know. straight. My story don't change. True. So you're gonna ask me the same question that people have been asking me for 25 years. So what you think is gonna change today? Because I'm on your show, or because I'm on your show, or because he's here, or because he's here. So what do change? Tell me. Or what do it benefit me? What do you want to change? I want to change people's perspective. Like, I want to change young niggas' life to let them know, like, don't get caught up in none of this corny shit and this bullshit because when, when death really hits you, my nigga, it's real. That's real. I mean, I mean and I want it because I've been part of it. This is what I want to know, yeah. you know, and this, I feel the world want to know. So, I would, we, I've said this a million times. We don't wrestle against flesh, so. I'm on with you on time. I don't care who he was beefing with flesh because that wasn't real. Now I watch Big say who his real enemy was. I watch Big so say who he was really beefing with. And that's what the world want to hear about. He spoke about death. He spoke about mm. death being on him. Mm. Let's talk about that. You, his little man, did he ever talk to you about that? Because that's what's real. When a dude feel death is on him, and he's telling you, he told the camera, death is on me. No, he did. He, we did the show. Now, he, that has he never was like, been Yo, asked. I, that's said, what's real. Be, but you know what? He taught me how to be the way I am to y'all right now. Be honest. Because mm -hmm. he sat there with interviews and said, Yo, I'll be proud of it. I think niggas out here kill me every day. And Big wasn't a bad guy. Why he feel that way? It is like, yo, dog, I'm powerful. Mm. But I probably never took it that way as a youngster then. Mm -hmm. But he was already calling out for that type of, you know, knowledge. He was spiritual. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, he Suicidal was like, yo, I be feeling like niggas were out here to kill me every day. I be paranoid. That's why that's he's so the first world rapper I know that really talked to. He was like, yo, I'm paranoid, my up, nigga. Like, he I'm, scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of being popular. Right yeah. Yo, dog, popular is not the biggest shit in the world. You want to be popular? Are you willing to pay for your protection to be that nigga in the world? Are you willing to pay for everywhere you go? Not saying you have to pay for everywhere you go, but you better be <clears throat> on clicking on, on shit to know right. what's what. I ain't never paid for no protection. Ever in my life. Ever in my life. <coughs> but as being 45 years old, he only died at 24. I get to think beyond him. And I go, damn, what was going through my nigga mind? That's why he was writing suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's why he was writing all everyday struggles. That's why he was writing all these records. I want my daughter to be like, because maybe he saw something that we didn't know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I was Life too young to death. judge and understand. I'm 15 years. Don't put me in no predicament, man. Don't don't put me in no water, my nigga. And you know I can't swim, especially to swim out that shit. You know what I'm saying? But he was the one nigga that probably would have been my fucking life coach. That probably would have made sure I swim through that shit. He was life You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't I just go with life? Man. I don't fuck it, man. This is how God got it to be, and but. You know, my main objective was let niggas know what he stood for and what he was about. And I, I, I think when he met you, that's what that was too, because I heard you earlier saying like, you can't really explain it. And I think it's not to be explained. Yeah, God yeah, yeah. has something. Explain yeah, it God like, has yeah, something. I don't know, written. dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't we know. all playing a part. And like when I seen him, he called me out the dark one night. You know, driving down the block. You know what I'm saying? I know that was God, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That yeah. so we all I can't explain what made him see me driving in the truck and say, Oh, you know, call me, you know what I'm saying? That's how it works. Sometimes, so, yeah, sometimes yeah. we all I just don't, yo, I don't know why that, into I, this God I, I, thing. I don't know why that guy picked me. I don't know why he you know, I don't know why. I know why now because I'm forty five years old in this day and age. Not today. But you know, I outlived him twenty one years. But I get to sit around his kids. You know, his daughter, his son, his moms, his peoples, and this is how we keep that type of shit, you know, 
And when oh, and you, I feel like that's what you know, that's what he stood for. He stood to bring people together. And I don't think my nigga knew what he was doing. He didn't do, but he he knew as far as music as a musician and he knew what he was doing, but I don't think he knew what he was actually bringing together. You know, I don't think he knew the impact he was going to have. And that's why we love him and we ride with him so much. Think about it, my nigga. How many dead rappers you know ride like we ride for B.I.G.? And I don't mean that shit in no disrespectful way, but nigga, that nigga been expanding his years Absolutely. since he passed away. Like, think about it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? So when I get to sit with his daughter, you know, his daughter, I get to sit with his son, I get to sit with his mom, you know. That's my way of just bringing me back to that comfort zone and just like, you know, just that time. We don't, when we're around, we don't, you know, we don't be tripping about who we are and what's what is. Nah, that's our time. Just like, you know, this is our connection. This is like our plug to the world. This is our plug to us. This is our plug to the legacy. It's our plug to hip hop and, you know. I don't know how to think about it. I just, I be just, I be just living in the moment, though, because I'm happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm yeah, jumping off that shit. I'm happy to be here because the family, the people, they accept me. They fuck with me. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't be thinking about nothing else. I, I go back on my block to this day. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know? As long as I can go back comfortably and be in my neighborhood and niggas can sit down and go, you know, come pull up here, come pull up here. I pull up everywhere. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying that shit just for the camp. Everybody can tell you that, nigga. Go fact. anywhere. Country house. Yeah. Franklin, pull me up anywhere, nigga. I'm in my neighborhood. I'm not no corny nigga, because I ain't, I never been, I never felt like I was that star. Felt like that. I always felt like Big made me a star. I always felt like I'm only a star because of him. You know what I mean? I'm more of a star from Big shouting me out before being in the group. He shouted me out more than I was on the Junior Mafia album. I was only on two songs on the Junior Mafia album. But if you listen to big songs, he shouted me out more than I was ever yeah, on we any knew song. You, we knew you more than anybody oh, else. Facts. I knew I, I knew those seeds before facts. anybody else. I didn't know who everybody else was. I was only on two till, songs. Um, I was only on two songs. Till more money, more I was on Realms of Junior Mafia and I was on Players Anthem. That was it. Then I got on the Junior Mafia remix to get money and then I was on Crush on You on Kim album. Wasn't that originally your song? Yes. Crush on you? I thought so. Big facts. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. it was originally mm -hmm. your joint. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we, we, it's, it's all perspective, bro. Like, we're sitting here. I ain't tripping, dog. I, I, was, I know you don't. I, I, know I ain't you know. supposed to be in this small fucking chair, man. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be in this chair. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to talk to me. You're in a position to give us unique information. That's yeah. why we keep asking these questions. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. And I'm you're the too. only person who can, who can, it don't, it's not as authentic there's a handful of people who can tell this story, and you one of them. Right. You and you wanted a few. Right. And after you go, the story goes with you. Right. That's why we ask these questions because how, we, how, how do you keep it alive? That's one of them right there. Right. Big Boss, CJ, right. Suarez, Junior Mafia, yeah. Nino, Bang, Blake. Chico, uh, Capone, R.I.P. Bristow, you know what I'm saying? Like my, you know, that's just something like, you know, I don't think I was, you know, I didn't pull these buttons on myself, you know what I'm saying? This wasn't my plan, wasn't my idea, wasn't my, you know, I just kind of went with the flow, and, you know, I'm a P.Y.P. player, you know what I'm saying? And my, I felt like through all these years, everything big did, Put me in this position, and he knew that this this what it was gonna be. You know, I, I don't know. I'm still learning how to rap to this day. And I'm 45 <laughs> years old. How about that? It's, it's wait, so how, wait, how did season the 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 um the album the solo album you did? Right. <laughs> Y'all taking the original wonderful, documentary. The wonderful no, world. No, 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 the oh, wonderful no, world is season leader. Talk, like that. Like that. No, I mean. You understand? I, you when, you know, see, my shit now. All right, Debo. You tell me don't talk about no jail yeah, shit. He just did some jail shit. <laughs> this nigga mad. He just did some jail shit. Boy, I don't know. That nigga was sitting there scheming on some jail shit. All right, you don't tell me don't talk about no jail shit. 
<laughs> he just ran in my locker and took some shit. Yo, nah. see, he said, he said, move your arm. <laughs> yeah, you move your arm, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just talk about this thing. Exactly, <laughs> I exactly. Nah, but I, I, I was never made to be a rapper, so I don't know. I, you know, that wasn't none of my idea. That's just something that came from the turf. And... Well, you fool the world, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, fool. Because season lead, that album was crazy, homie. Yeah, but I ain't, that do, that, I ain't, I ain't do that by myself, though. Mm. Had a lot of people around. Because I learned that shit from the industry I was around. You know, watching Puff have writers around, the producers around. Mm. You know, when Big died, I didn't have my writer. Big was the one writing my rhymes. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was the one, like, I got you. Like, you know, don't worry about that shit, little bro. You good. Score in that room for two hours. Get that shit. You got it? You good? You good? And I'm good. Mm. All right. He ain't taking my publishing or nothing. Nigga, have mine. Mm. I had everything, bro. I ain't had to worry about shit, bro. Mm. He literally went out of his way to make you famous. Mark, At every bro. step. To make you rich and famous. Rich Mark. and famous. He didn't take your publishing. He shot I, I, I'm not even lying, lying to you. If you think I'm lying, just listen to his rap. Why like, would anybody think nah, you're lying nah, about bro. it? Not at all, bro. Yeah, so not at all. And that's why, why do you think I go so awful? It makes more sense now. He made me judge people like y'all. I know a real friend when I see one, when I feel one. Mm -hmm. Pose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like, no, nigga, because I judge people about how he treated me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How many niggas you know that I do shit like that for you? Mm. Not many. Nah. It's not many, though. Mm. Think about it. I was a star before I was. I even recited a rap that he wrote for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's he nice. made it famous for rappers to shout out they, they friends. Y'all ever think about that? Mm. How Hype Man's came about? Outside of Flavor Flav. Whatever Hype Man you knew outside of Flavor Flav and Freaky Todd, God bless the dead. Split what star, niggas you... Split star. And Split. But Split is a... He is an originator, nigga. Right. Outside right. of me. Nigga, he's a... Right. He count for something totally fucking different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But think about that. That's when rappers, friends started to become famous. You know what I'm saying? Like... Jay and Bleak. Like... Yeah, that was after that. No, no, but Bleak no, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was after that. Like, We're talking shows. about niggas that didn't rap. Niggas right. that didn't rap. That's why I don't right. count Freaky Ty in there because Freaky Ty was a part of Lost Boys. Right. But, I don't right. count Flay because he's part of Public Enemy. Right. He was a part Split of nobody. Raps, yeah. I, was little, I was this little nigga. I beat everybody's like, yo, who that little nigga fucking that be on the stage with Big doing Give Me Your Move? Doing the other side of Warning. And, oh, nigga, I wasn't no rapper. Mm -hmm. So I don't count. Don't count me with Flavor Flav. Don't count me with them. Because they was part of the group. But no, I was just a hype man or just a... That's his nigga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're downplaying it a little bit. But think about that, though. You ever thought about it like that? Like, I, I, I've been thinking about like that because the internet be hitting me right now. I'm like, yo, nigga, you don't know just part of this now. I get hits from London and Africa. Yo, you're big but I, but I feel like you're downplaying it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why. Because that's not what it... Downplay what? Downplaying, like, just just that in itself. Because I don't... That's not what I was in it for. I knew I was in it for something bigger. I don't know. That's not what I... I, I don't want that to be that. I'm just aware of that to that because we're here, we're talking, and we're having a conversation. But I, was, I just want people to realize that so maybe that shit could translate to the new generation so they can know what they have around them and and you know their situation I'm, I'm listening to you talk and if um you know this guy that was looking out for you looked out for me from day one and um he put you in this position yeah mentioned you on records when there was a whole crew of rappers around just kept saying your name you be here now, in a position of, or reaping the benefits of just that, that time. But during that time, he's telling you, patently, I feel like something can happen. What do you think he would want you to do right now? Live. Yeah. Do the shit he ain't do. Live, bro. 
and I trust you and I fuck with you and you know, just you know it. Mm. I got a homeboy named Wafi. He said he used to be pushing me to rap. I was doing knucklehead shit. Nigga made a MySpace page for me, everything. Like you saying you nice, like you know, da -da. Yeah. I'm doing knucklehead shit. Some of the knucklehead shit that I was doing. Same shit. Went down with him. He lost his life. It's like a sign for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It turned you around. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, that's not nothing that, you know, I don't feel like that nothing that, that need to be explained to me as far as my relationship with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah. I do want to know. Outside of music, yeah. that's more important to me is to have a relationship with her. Right. Have a relationship with his son. Have a relationship with his moms. All that shit is bigger than music to me. I ain't here to please y'all. I mean to make sure, you know, all of us got our relationship and and we established and not even no no taking care of her. She take care of her own self. Right. Her son take care of his own self. His moms, they good. Right. I just felt like he taught me about the bond of being the family. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like stand with your people. It's not about no money. It's not about none of that shit. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't do shit for them. They do their shit. They do shit for me. They help me with shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not afraid to say that. To the world, to what? Like crazy? That's how it's supposed to be. That's what he. That's what he birthed. That's what he born. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So if she don't got that trust and loyalty in me, then none of it. Ah, I don't owe that shit to nobody else, bro. Yeah. Right. I stand tall on shit like that. That's why I ain't had to put out no album in ten years. I put out one album in 1999. Why are we still sitting here talking? Because my integrity, what I stand for, what I am. And I had obstacles to when niggas try to shoot my shit down, call me all type of shit, you know? It happens, but that's part of the program. Right. My nigga already told me that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't trip about that. As long as the love is genuine from the people that matters, I don't care about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just stay in my peace. I stay in my cool. I don't be out here fishing for no controversy. I'm not out here trying to get no likes and... I'm not out here trying to go viral. Yeah. You know, I, I just sit here and play my part, man. And you still just, perform? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I got music, too. Yeah. Gosh, shit. So you started writing? I started writing after Big Dot. Because who else is going to write my rhymes right. that know me? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to get you to write my rhymes. You don't know shit about me. You don't <laughs> rap about when my mom used to whoop my ass or yeah. I had to run from school. You don't know my life. Right. But Big D, he knew my life since seven, eight years old. So him writing about me, he know my sister, he know my brothers, he know, he knows how to vividly, I got you. So those bars was accurate. Smoke more trees than a little bit. What are you, an I wrote up on his weed. <laughs> Not just that. Because everybody just think I was just a weed I'm roller. I'm going through all the I just moved It's like, yo, you just a weed roller? I'm right. like, nah, nigga. I was, I was dope. That was, my, that was my big brother. That was like an uncle. That was, he was everything. He was the brother, the uncle, the father. He, he did all that for me. No, I wasn't just no roller. But from the movie, that's how it may seem or just what people think of it. I'm like, yo, nah. He was, that, was my, that was my guy. Like, he knew. He did that. I don't have to say nothing. What do I have to say? You could punch up many clips through this fucking interview and you, you could watch that man talk about me like I was a fucking 30 year old, 40 year old. Mm -hmm. right. And I was five years younger than him. Right. He wrote rhymes for you like you were a grown up. The he lyrics. Treat, he treated me worse than that. He treated you worse than that? Not in no bad way. I'm talking about yeah. like, I've been exposed to some other shit. I ran, I ran the shit. Like, I was that guy. Seas know all his oh, songs go to my door. And they go to this world, fuck some up. <laughs> I don't trust bitches because of that nigga. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Don't like that. That's yeah, what so you bitches gotta, you gotta do a little more, man. You might just go in there and Snapchat, you might go here, bow, yeah, bow, yeah. bow. And right. Nah, but my man taught me that. Right. Mm -hmm. Plants to leave, throw the keys of those seeds, but I, I've been programmed. Since I was 14. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? True. But what all them rounds mm -hmm. recite? Do I recite him putting a gun in my hand? Do I 
I ain't putting the drugs in my hand. What we talk about all the time? Fucking chick, smoking weed, getting money, yeah. living getting life. Money. That was my life. Into a car accident, right. crashing cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't, we weren't doing no crazy shit though. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Because I was one of them ones that he just like, I right, he get it. You know what I mean? He Until got it. Little C's crippled me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I had to deal with that when I violated. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what right. happened? I don't even remember what happened. Y'all was on the Jackie Robinson. We, we had something. to tell that story neither. We <laughs> neither. They was on the Jackie Robinson. No, 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 no. I'm not. I can't. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all taking me back. I have, have to like do that shit like a, a while. There's a lot of stories though. I was there for a lot, so it's like I have to like sit back and like think about shit and all that. Like, no. we had we had incidents, but that incident. Let me tell you something about having but that when we crashed. <laughs> We had got locked up. I'm not gonna tell you how the specifics, but we got locked up the the day before that. But we got out that same night. Mm-hmm. Like we got out. Like we just went to the precinct. You know, it was some weed. We smoked some bud. We was in the back of downtown. Police pulled up on us. We they put the clip out. They locked us up. We sat in the precinct. You know, they do paperwork, do all that shit. Get out. And Un came to pick us up. Like, right. So when Un came to get there, they brought our truck out. We had the Lexus Land truck to go, Lexus Land. Mm. And they, when they brought it out, it was on a fucking big ass truck. Like it wasn't moving, it wasn't working. We was like, yeah, what happened? We was only locked up for two hours. Yeah. And uh, you know, they wound up taking that shit back to the dealership. And then Un wound up taking us back to Jersey when we lived at Jersey at that time. And then we woke up the next day, we went to the dealership. And, uh, they didn't have the car ready. And they came and brought us aluminum van. Like, you know, like the loaner cars, you know. Yeah. Okay. I worked for a dealership before. And I'm not afraid to put this out there. I worked for a dealership, even after I was a rapper. So I was a porter. So I know when they have cars around that you could just drive around and you could put a fucking dealer plate in the back of the car and take that shit home. Mm. I worked for that. So I know how that shit was. They gave us a loaner's car instead of giving us a Lexus car. Instead of giving us what we, you know. And uh, the brakes was very fucked up on the car. And I was driving. I'm 15 years old. One, they get driving bigger around. Like, all right. Jeez. They don't give us a Lexus car. And the minute we got out the lot, we run into the back of somebody, like the back of the the dealer that big to get the cars from. Mm-hmm. And I, I ran right in the back of them. Boom! The brakes fucked up. You know, he like, just drive. He ain't give a fuck about nothing. You're going through wild. She's like, yo, bro, that shit's wrong. Did he ever see you drive those seats? Yeah, I was driving before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I was already, I had a license already, bro. Like, I was already, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. I, yeah, I ran the elves and shit. Like, he knew. You know what I'm saying? But while we was driving, the car was fucked up. It wasn't me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, yo, bro. As soon as I hit, as soon as I hit the back of the dealer, I'm like, yo, yeah, this shit fucked up. He like, we was going through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit yeah. he was going through. He like, yo, bro, just drive. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about that shit. Like, mm-hmm. I had the back of his dealer that he get his all his cars from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wasn't even true. He like, all right, man. Yeah. yeah, yo, bro, we see them all. Like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, bro, this shit fucked up. He was like, yo, just drive like in the movie. He was, just drive. Let's get the fuck out of here. And that's how we crashed. Like, when we was driving around, it's like, we was getting on the turnpike. And when we was driving around this little turn, it was raining, too. And the car just sped out. and. I went across the road and hit a whole nother rail. I'm driving. Face this down with. I ain't think nothing happened to him. The whole time they had to get him out to, you know, he couldn't move his leg. He like, oh, I can't move my shit, bro. I'm leaking from the mouth. You know, mm. Like, you know, my shit's down well. Yeah. And you know, the people finally come and shit, snatch us all up. But they had to really like fucking rip the fucking seat, like rip the car door, you know, off his car, you know, off his side right. and get him out because he couldn't move. He like, yo, I can't move my leg. Yeah. You know what I'm like he couldn't move it. Mm. I felt like shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause I was driving. Right. Let me tell you something. You know how ill that nigga was? After having the fucking stent through his leg. All that shit, bro. He sat there and was like, I, no, I was leaking from my mouth and shit, but I was already done before he was done. And everybody was like, yo, big one to see you. And I came in the room and he was like, yo, little bro, don't feel no way about that. It's so good. Like, you know, 
Mm. Don't trip off that, bro. Like, you know, shit happens. Like, right. he was just so, like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like, don't worry about it. Shit right. happens, bro. Like, we, you know. Right. Then the famous it. line come after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. like little yeah. scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but I know what that meant. It was uh -huh. like, but that's how he rapped. He didn't, he didn't sugarcoat no. <laughs> was you there when he said that in the studio? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> when you heard it, how you felt? I laughed. <laughs> I'm still there. What, what, like, yeah. why would I? Like, why would I? Why yeah. would I should be mad? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, I'm still here. He still got me here. I'm chilling. Yeah. He understood what it was. Dog, I was a young nigga. Like, I was putting some shit I didn't. I was just out there just, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But he, one thing he did knew, if it's one nigga that stood tall for me, that little motherfucker right here gonna stand tall for me all day. And that's all I cared about. I don't give a fuck about nothing, nothing else. Yeah. This is about you. You're a sucker for that. I'm a sucker. You yeah. sit, sit here. Sometimes people probably used to think like that, or just like, yo, why you got this little young nigga with Fucking you? Niggas, and I'm like, yo, what? Yeah. This nigga's the one sitting in here like, yo, you can recite this? You can do this? You will come in the room. Dude, change Practice. your life intentionally. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Forever. Yeah. Forever. Permanent. I wasn't, you know, this wasn't my job to, you know, that wasn't my thing to become a rapper. I didn't think I was going to become that. I just thought I was always going to be holding him down and just be chilling. Like, and not holding him down like on some street shit, like on some microphone shit. Like, all right, you know, I'm your hype man. But yeah. he started to see that shit happen in real life and in real time. And he, he, he saw something. He was like, you know what? I'm about to write your ass some rhymes. You're going to perform, you're gonna perform in front of all these colleges, <clears throat> in front of all these high schools that I perform in front of. And, you know, and I, he knew I was... I ain't tripping. Whatever you want to do, Papa. I'm cool. Like, let's go. Like, I, yeah. you know what I mean? I was a team player, right. and that's how I've been to this day. I don't know how to even when people ask me about that. But yeah, I don't know if that nigga. So I don't know, but that's the one thing I know he did. See, you know, he knew I was down. I was down for the cause, bro. Mm -hmm. I'd do anything for that nigga. Did he yeah. did he confide in you when he was going through these like super stressful times? Yeah, I my nigga. Yeah, like I was. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't mm -hmm. like talking about that shit, and I don't like saying that because I don't, I don't toot my own horn for shit like that. But I, all, I, all I tell people is, listen to the rhymes, right? Mm -hmm. Stuff is Do I have That's to say it? That's what I was just thinking. Like, do, do you I have listen to, to Longest Long like Kiss Good Night? No, no. I, okay, I want to ask this question. I don't and like, like saying it. No and we can take a, I can take a little five minute break. Was there any rivalry? Like lyrically, like certain niggas who drop records. Like I know Big and Jay had their thing going. What was it like? Well, Big else? and Jay had what going on? Like, like, that? like Jay would play big records and Big would play him records. Yeah, but that's fun shit real. though. You don't right. count. This that. Is what I'm that ain't no rivalry. Not, that's, that's competitiveness. Yeah, yeah, not not on a not on the sense of, of oh these niggas is the enemies, but like who was the niggas that Big was listening for like. Or they just dropped the joint. Nobody. He won't listen for nobody unless somebody said his name or said something. They didn't give a fuck about that. Mm. Like, he didn't. What? Kicking the door sounded like he, he was speaking to somebody intentionally. Stop trying to come. Stop trying to do that. You, so, we already know the remedy of that. He wasn't come At, at them times. Uh, the way we talk about rap right now, if you say you're the king of any town, any state, mm -hmm. anybody go, well, he said he was the king of this thing. As an artist or as a battle rapper, right? Uh huh. You gonna say you're the best no matter who's around. That's right? a fact. Like, is that personal to a nigga you battle? It better be. We all supposed to think we number one. <laughs> Who gonna sit here and say, "Yo, man, yeah, I'm, uh, but I'm, I'm number one and I'm number two. No, nigga, you're gonna. Everybody's gonna yeah, say. Yeah, but don't say that one. shit around me. Don't say that shit around me. Why? Yeah, but you, would you, you be mad like at somebody that. that say that? You could feel like but that. You, but you gonna sit there and but, not... But, but don't come but, around me and be like, yeah, I'm the number one nigga. Nah, no, no, no. but if it's not. a sport, but if you in the studio, or well, if you in your battle right. court of your comfort zone, right? right? Hey, a nigga going, yo, I'm that, and I'm this and I'm that. That's, oh, I'm sending shots. Right you feel like that? I'm sending shots. <laughs> yeah, I'm sending but shots. you gotta let people call the shots, right? This Big never said he was the you. king of New York. Who made him the king of New York? This goes out to you and, so. and you Not and you. The yeah, source did it. The, the source. source did it. Mm. The source is the, the source one that put him on the cover. The source. The, the source is the king of New York. That's oh. the cover. 
You so work, long. You, did you say you work for right? There's three things. There's two things. You on that work for the source, right? There's three things in so that. So he company. wasn't calling himself Frank White before. But he was, no yeah. matter if it was that, mm. who let you asking the question, right? Yeah, was who it? label him? <laughs> don't who label him that? You know who Frank White is. Yeah, but Frank White was that was his thing. He, he, he that, made what, that, that, that claim. But I think that claim. I think that he was the that second the, album though. Wasn't that the second album? No, second he album. said it. He so said disrespect. It I don't remember him saying it in the, the King of King and Why. Fucked out. Fuck that! Why I try to throw bleach in your yeah, nobody. That's your that That's that life. That's, that's kicking the door. That's, that's, that's kicking the door. After, after the yeah, that's after. After this that's first that's album, the, the source labeled him that, bro. He didn't come out sitting here saying, "Yo, I run shit," but he was letting niggas know, nigga, none of y'all niggas can't fuck with me. How about that? Right. And I challenge any one of you niggas. Right. Metaphors, cadence, flows, bars. Anything. Come on, my nigga. Who did what he did? Let's keep it a buck. No, no, this, this goes out to you, and you, and, and you, and you. And you. you rain on the top. Sure, so like, 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 like gone. As I crush so cold, Willie, oh, that was crazy. It down. <laughs> so you telling me that was that was directed at no one? Never discussed. Like to who? You rain on the top was short, like leprechaun. To who? What you mean? Where Could you have been anybody who would be trying to go? That's why you smell like I'm man. You know what it is, man. I'm not. Come on, man. What you? Yo, dope. Every rapper is a competitor. Right. We compete. It's a. It don't have to be personal, but everybody wants to be number one, right? right. So who There's did he one see love, as number one? One life, one. so there could only be one king. Wait, say it again. It's one, one love, life, one life, man. so there could only be one king. And no. shortly after that, it was written. Truly, it was Frank Let me tell you something. <laughs> see, you trying to get something saying. out of me? Listen, I'm trying to hold shit for my shit right now. I'm not giving you something right now. Right? Right. That's what's going to, on. Right. Listen, this whole time, man, man. that's what's going on. No, sir. it's not. That's, that's not what's going, going on. on. It's not See, what's you going on. you could have told me. I would have waited. I would have waited until I dropped your documentary. And then we would have got a real interview. There we go. Come on, man. I'm taking a five minute break. Bro. There we it's go. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's Don't take that five minute break right now. No, no. This Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.